I believe that he's give young Frank there warrants it. Because personally, I don't think he's quite good enough yet. Now, I also think that in the last couple of years, you let some good midfielders go for peanuts, like Matt Holland and Scott Cannon. Well, no, they definitely wasn't good enough. They definitely, he is good enough, and he definitely will be good enough. Um, I let Scott Cannon go. He was a good kid and worked very hard. He's gone to Brentford. He can't get in Brentford's team. He's 21 years of age. I, I let him go because young Frank's 17 or 18 and his miles in front of him. Well, that ain't really true. That is true. You know, that's my opinion, and that's what I get paid to... I get paid to make judgments on players. He's not. No, if you look very carefully, I don't think he's been in too regular. Well, it's your opinion. You know, it's, again, it's a game of opinions. It's, and you've got a right to your opinion, but I've also got a right to my opinion. You know, and that my opinion, obviously, I, pick, I keep the players I want to keep. Young Matt Holland, yeah, I think he may bounce back and maybe first division and he's, he's a decent player. And young Scotty Cannon's a decent player. Don't get me wrong, he's a decent young player. We offered him a two-year contract and he turned it down. He didn't want to stay here. You know, it was Scotty's... A, a, you know, it was his. It was his decision to leave the club. We tried. I tried my hardest to keep him here. I doubled his wages. I made him a two-year, gave him a two-year contract. I said, if you get in the team, you'll earn good money. You know, but no, he's. he's I tell you now. You know, you can sit in front of all these people. I tell you, without any shadow of a doubt, there will be no comparison with what Frank Lampard will achieve in football and what Scotty Cannon will achieve in football. But you'll give him the opportunity. I don't give him the opportunity. He, you know, there is no favouritism. In fact, I'm probably holding him back more because I tell you what. Frank you know, played at Arsenal and he clearly wasn't ready to play. Well, right? that's your yeah. yeah. I don't think he did badly at Arsenal. I think he came into the side and I felt. Hang on, just a moment, one at a I time. thought the kid came into the side and did, did well, you know. But I'm telling you now, and not and I may be now, I didn't want to say this in front of him, but he will go right to the very top. Right to the very top. Well, there you are, you heard it here first. <laughs> Can I... Uh, and I, I tell you now, there ain't no doubt about that, in my opinion, you know, because he's got everything that's needed to become a top-class midfield player. His attitude is first-class, he's got strength, he can play, he can pass it and he can score goals. Well, I mean, I do go reserve games and stuff. Yeah. So I, like, so I do know... Sure, I know you... Yeah, I'm not saying you don't. Night. I ain't saying you don't. I'm not saying you don't. Know what you, you know, it's your opinion. It's, it's fine, but I, I'm okay. telling you... It's my opinion. I couldn't be more strong how I feel about him. I think, I think uh, it's not just Harry's opinion. Um, I don't know if many of you knew, but during the um, European Championships in the summer, um, England decided to take several young players from all over the country to various training sessions. When Terry Venables um, came down to the ground to, to speak to Harry and I not too long ago, he said there was two outstanding youngsters of all the ones he had. That was Frank and Rio. He said they were the two best players he's had in the whole time in that England setup. You can't say any more than that. A question for Frank, following on the last uh, question. Um, from that youth team that was tremendous last year, which players does he think is going to go all to the top with himself? Well, I, I'd say there's a batch of about four or five that have got a, a great chance. Um, but obviously, Rio is broke for already. And um, Lee Hodges and, um, and Manny are on loan at the moment and doing well. So I think it, it's, it's a case of just... Um, of getting experience over a year. I mean, we, we all had a good year last year, and now we've just got to take that step up. And obviously, some will do it quicker than others, but I think, you know, even below us, the year below us, we've got League One, and we've got players coming through at schoolboy level. And I think that over the next sort of few years, you'll see sort of three, four, maybe five players coming through, which is more than we've had for the last, sort of, you know, five, ten years. And now you got me sipping on this pint. And now you're looking at me one last time But I ain't about to let you face me Hurts the lingers vaguely Leaving all these L's behind I was just bugging on something But you know I forgot it I just do call up my feelings So I had to go toss them Hope it's romantic, you got me Say I know what I want Betrayal, the lust of deceiving And it's all that I got Leave it all back in the past Yeah, gotta give me this bag Screw it all back to the future Got DeLorean gas